I quickly wanted to show you the uh, quick schematic I made when I disassembled this. Uh, at this point, probably five or so more months ago, um, to start doing this, and then obviously things get in the way, and uh, so time passes. So make yourself any kind of a sketch um, to keep your mind jarred when you come back to your project, uh, pick up, being able to pick up where you left off. Um, I made this sketch with some very, very rudimentary legending, and uh, I also labeled the wires um, for the corresponding place on the sketch. I just used painter's tape and an ink pen, and now I can tell which wire goes where, or which wire went where, and it should go pretty quickly getting this back together. So, let me get started. Okay, this is the Sheldon lathe. Um, the one that I was working on the switch. And here is that switch. Cover is still off. I am going to put the switch back onto the lathe to verify that the reverse does indeed work now. Uh, it works statically, but let's check it dynamically with current, and we'll see that it works. So we'll get started, and uh, let me continue. Okay, <clears throat> here we are a bit further along. Um, you can see I've fed the wires through the opening in the bottom of the switch. Uh, each wires are grouped for what side of switch they're going on. Uh, now I'm going to make the connections. Uh, the wires to each one of the contacts and mount it back up on the bracket here and then I will turn it back on. I do not have a tripod so I can't film while I'm doing my work. Uh, hopefully I can get a tripod or at least a way to mount my camera uh, in an upright position and then I will be able to film a little bit more uh, of the process instead of the stop and start that I have right now. All right, let me continue. Thanks. Okay, here's the switch all on the, the lathe now. You can see I've got the wires connected. Um, I've got it, the handle reassembled. I've got it mounted back on the lathe. I left the tape on my reference just in case uh, something did get out of funk. You never know. Better safe than sorry, I'll take that off. Now let's turn it on and see how it works. Okay, I got the power turned on to the, my static phase converter for this. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail with the lathe until I get it running. There's a couple other small things that I have to fix. Uh, I will film those because I know they're common problems. Uh, through my research, I've determined that. Um, this does have a quick change gearbox. It does have the, uh, the ability to change the speeds without moving belts around. It also has a back gear. But again, I don't want to go into too much detail, so let's just see if it works. The phase converter is running my motor. And uh, let's turn it into forward. Forward is on this side. Reverse is on this side, so... Let's see what happens. It is probably about 30 degrees out here, so... Um, and this hasn't run. I, I bought this from a gentleman that had it for 10 to 15 years, and it just sat in his warehouse. Uh, so this is basically the first time it's running. I did have it going how I determined the switch was bad. So let's see if the reverse works, which did not work in the past. And it does work. So This one has been a success, I guess, for now. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Okay, and here it is with the cover back on. Um, I am going to need to get a new screw. Uh, these screws 
don't fit properly. There was no screws in there. There was black tape running around the outside holding that cover on. So I get a couple of screws and that'll finish that off. Um, I'll probably end up cleaning this more, maybe sandblasting it or something. Uh, if there's any interest, uh, I can take the whole assembly apart as shown in the previous video <clears throat> where I rebuilt the two missing contacts. I know I didn't get a chance to um, show you the disassembly process and how that goes together. This is, um, I don't know if I can turn on a light. Um, there is the type of switch this is, a Furnath. Uh, it's original. I'm sure it's probably original to the lathe. I've seen this switch on a lot of these Sheldon lathes. Um, like I said again, this, uh, this just didn't have reverse. I wanted to reverse. <clears throat> I know why they disabled it so nobody spun the chuck off because it just does have a threaded chuck. I'm the only one that's going to be operating it here, so I'm not really worried about that happening. So again, if there's any interest in uh, the disassembly of this switch, just let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll post up a, a follow-up video disassembling this thing again, uh, taking it off of here. And that time I'll probably end up sandblasting the housing and everything else. Um, I do want to clean up the lathe. I'm not going to go through an extreme rebuild process. I'm going to fix all the stuff that's wrong with it so it's running properly. So the quick change gearbox is running properly. There's a couple gears in there that are have a couple wear marks on them um, and there's a little slop on the dogs so the gears don't engage 100% um, <clears throat> in, in certain speeds. And probably another thing I'll end up doing is uh, taking the lead screw out and just verifying that it's not bent or distorted in any way. So if there's any interest, let me know in the comments. Uh, this will be an ongoing project. I have several things to do on this lathe. I will try to document all those things. Um, there's not a lot of information on the Sheldon lathe on YouTube. So if anybody out there has a Sheldon lathe and maybe you're missing a part and I've got it or vice versa we can help each other out let me know again in the comments and uh, thanks again